How much should we believe mainstream media? Hey everybody, Scott Walters, welcome to the channel. If you're new, I wanna thank you for coming. If you're returning, I wanna thank you for your continued support. Before we get into today's red hot topic, I'm gonna to politely ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Please watch to the end for my final thought. Hit the bell icon so you're notified when new videos are released. It's very important to stay close to the channel in these very, very tricky times. I'm sorry, I just laughed, but it's like some of this stuff, you just gotta laugh. It's like a built-in self-defense mechanism to wrap our heads around what's going on out there, friends. And mainstream media is a tricky one for me because the reality is, is these aren't free thinkers, forward thinkers, critical thinkers. These are all people reporting on things handed down from newsrooms that they've been approved to report on. And like I said, that's what I mean, approved to report on. They cannot be free thinkers. And let me just tell you, big establishment is directing all the narratives that we are being fed. They're directing us just like this buyer herd mentality that was created through an artificially created housing bubble, housing market. It was all handed down from big establishment, big government to get the economy stimulated. And some of us don't know if it was on accident or on purpose, if this was orchestrated or simply just mismanagement. And like I always say, it's time to get out of the problem in the solution. We'll always do that here at the channel. And if you're new, I welcome you. I wanna congratulate you on coming and trying to learn about some of this stuff. Please subscribe, subscribe right away. There's never been a more important time in world history to get ahead of the curve, be forward thinking and critical thinking. I'm gonna to continue to ring the bell and sound the alarm and wake up as many people as I can. I know many of you longtime viewers are helping us do that. And it's been very satisfying to do that. We've talked and talked to many of you. So the reality as friends is I was just talking to one of you uh, today and one of the things that we've seen is you know how much can we really believe is 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 big government big establishment really telling us what's really going on with our world today of course not they couldn't tell us what was going on it'd be pandemonium in the streets pandemonium in the streets and friends really what it comes down to is what are we doing to prepare expect the unexpected Hope for the best, expect the worst. I know there's a lot of preppers here at the channel that are prepping, congratulations. I think there's nothing wrong with prepping. I have a prep plan myself. I always say it comes down to the psychology of people, the psychology of sales. It's not so much what your plan is, it's having a plan. Failing to plan is planning to fail. That's why I love this real estate channel because I know everything hinges on the real estate channel, but we are very well-rounded here, right? We're not just preaching what the latest data shows in the markets and maybe this is a good time to get off the sidelines after you are cheerleading these markets, now reversing course, reporting on things, but still understand. That's the hardest part for me as an industry guy in the real estate industry. I love real estate. It's changed my life. I do it for free. Oftentimes I do, but it wasn't by owning my house. It was by owning other people's houses. That's always been my message. Message. Don't be concerned about owning your house. So when I see other real estate channels forced to, you know, to report on what's going on and still having a semi-captured audience, I get it. So it was the people that bought in the euphoria. So they're like clinging to these people because they took their advice and bought in the biggest real estate bubble. I'm the only real estate professional on YouTube that I'm aware of that actually came on making money as a licensed realtor, massive brokerage putting people on the sidelines willing to earn their business later. I'm the only one I believe that's done that. Let me know in the comments below if there's anybody else doing that that's a, at that level. I'd be interested in knowing about that. But the reality is, our friends, is what we're seeing now is mainstream media is just reporting on how they want to direct the masses. We have to be <laughs> ahead of the curve, forward thinking, critical thinking, not following herd mentality. And that is what happened in the last bubble of 08. It's what happened in this bubble we're currently in, and it will continue to happen in every bubble moving forward. This one is the super bubble though, the everything bubble, the biggest bubble ever artificially, and that's the kicker for me, artificially produced in, in world history. There's never been a bubble this big. So as, as a logical level-headed person, you would have to just admit that there's probably a pretty good chance it could provide some of the biggest blowback ever recorded in world history. And I think we're seeing that pretty much unfold right now. There's a lot of things right now that have got a lot of us, you know, a lot of our attention, doesn't it? And we'll continue to just wrap our heads around it in a level-headed way so we're not paralyzed by fear, stuck in it, but moving forward, iron sharpens iron, like-minded people centered and surrounded with the people that think like us. You're going to lose a lot of friends. Family members aren't going to want to hear this stuff. It's hard. That's why I love this channel because I'm not doing it in a way that's hopefully 
full of doom and gloom, but doing it in a way that's just making sense and letting you know you're going to win in real estate, but it's not going to be by buying at the height of a massive real estate bubble. And you can't trust mainstream media, but unfortunately, because that's where a lot of people are at right now, they're just going to continue to be directed by mainstream media that's handed down from big establishment. And, you know, the government told us that, you know, uh, this was all under control. This one's under control. We're not worried. The American, you know, uh, average American's strong right now. And uh, uh, tr inflation is transitory. We're seeing this. They're just continuing to try. They know. They know that this thing's playing out in a big, big way. They basically lit the fuse and it's going off. It's about to just explode and they'll continue to come on and we'll all wait for the federal government to come give their talk or have their meeting and announce rate hikes so we can uh, decide how we're going to, you know, the markets are going to, it's all manipulated, artificial from the top to the bottom. The only way out of this thing is to insulate yourself, prepare, have any kind of plan. Like I said, there's going to be so much buying opportunity. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to help a lot of people navigate, navigate through the foreclosure process and crisis and some of the things that you can do to get back at the system to make them pay for what they did to us and that's the reality is friends is that's exactly what they did they created euphoria and herd mentality and people raced out to buy in the biggest bubble ever recorded in world history that was artificially produced it's worse than the last one because the last bubble is just some loose lending this one was complete market manipulation from the top to the bottom through and through this one is much more serious than the last one i wish it was just some loose lending that caused this one then maybe we could get out of it with the way we got out of the last one but unfortunately this is no way that this one pull that can it can pull itself off there is no way the casualties from this one are probably going to be really really significant so the reality is, friends, moving forward and final thoughts today, I wanted to come to you and continue to ring the bell and sound the alarm and let you know, be very careful about the people you trust right now. There's a lot of people that were drinking the Kool-Aid telling you to drink it too, and now they want to reverse course and tell you why you know they're changing their mind or this is saying this and a cool off and have been on the sidelines. If you've been on the sidelines, my advice, stay on the sidelines. Even if somebody's ready to help you buy or sell real estate right now, today. I can help you buy and sell real estate if that's what you want to do. And, and the reality is, is I'm going to be, I've talked about this before. We're going to go from buyer herd mentality where I got buried in buyers. All I had was buyers and no sellers to now I'm going to be buried in sellers with no buyers. That's just the flip. It's this, the cycles. It's just the booms and busts in the market that have taken place since the beginning of time. It'll continue to take place. And we're in one of the biggest cycles ever recorded. So buckle up, strap in. I'm going to keep you ahead of the curve. It's my commitment to you. Always, as long as I have a platform and people that want to hear what I have to say, I'm going to continue to bring it to you and bring it to you straight. If you appreciate the content, I do want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Social media links are in the description of this video if you'd like to message me there, along with links to other channels I've appeared on I think you might enjoy. If you're interested in buying or selling real estate here in America, I have the biggest network of top agents in the world ready to assist you. If you're watching from your television set today, another video will be coming on your screen along with an easy subscribe icon. Also remember affiliate links in the description of this video of great offers, great companies willing to give you guys, viewers of this channel, discounts. So please take a look at those as well. As always, thank you for your time. Please go make a count today. I'll see you on the next video.